It takes a long time to become a pediatric surgeon. Uh, pediatric surgery is a very specialized field. Of course, first you have to finish high school and do college and go to medical school. And then after medical school, a general surgeon, an adult surgeon, it takes five years of training. So you have five years of what we call on-the-job training, which is called residency, where I work under another doctor who shows me how to do surgery uh, as you go on for five years. And then if you want to do any other type of specialty surgery after that five years, you have to do what's called a fellowship or an additional training. So what I did was I did uh, three fellowships. I did a fellowship training in molecular biology, which allows me to have the expertise to run my laboratory and the mouse research that I do. I did a fellowship in pediatric surgery, which I did in Toronto at the Hospital for Sick Children. I did a, another fellowship in pediatric surgical oncology, which is the specialty which deals with cancer in children. And that training I did at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital that most people have heard of um, in Memphis. So my training was quite extensive and I had to move around a lot to receive training in a very specialized field. So I started off with undergraduate in medical school at Dartmouth. I did eight years there. And then after medical school, I went to UC Davis residency program, which is in Northern California in Oakland, and then uh, went on to Toronto and Memphis, Tennessee. So it was a long years of training. Um, but don't, I don't want anybody to be discouraged by that. I want to tell you what my mother told me when I said, oh, mom, I don't know if I can do it. I got all these years of training. I'm going to be 34 when I finish training. And she said, you're going to be 34 anyway. You might as well be 34 doing what you like to do. So, and that's true, You're, you know, life moves on, you get older, you can't avoid getting older, but you can organize your life to do what you want to do. So even though it's a long time in training, it's worth it because in the end you're doing exactly what you want to do and, and you're done. You do your education, you're done. You don't, you don't have to go back and forth. You just get it all done, get it out the way, and then start your career. And pediatric surgeons are few and far between in this country. And there, when I was training, there were only 25 positions available in the entire United States for which they were going to train a pediatric surgeon. So it was quite competitive to get into those 25 spots. And that actually, if you include Canada, was about 30 different positions that were available. So I had to apply a couple of times to be able to get into that training program. And I want to say that to let people know that you don't need to be discouraged if you don't get in the first time to whatever it is that you would like to do. You just have to be persistent and know that's what you want to do and keep trying. So I kept trying and on the second or third try I was able to get into the training program and, and be successful. So even though it seemed when I didn't get in the first time I was discouraged, I was not going to stop. I was going to keep reapplying. And what I found out later that um, I sort of was wondering why it was so difficult. And one of the reasons is after I finished my training and got my certificate, I realized that uh, I was the first African-American female pediatric surgeon in the United States. And so that was a hurdle that I had to cross. But you can't be discouraged by that. You just have to work hard and do what you know you want to do.